Bitmain has released a firmware update for S19s that includes a low power mode. Here's how to install it and what that means for your miners. They've actually made this process super easy to do. You won't need to touch your miner at all. You do need to know its IP address though. If you don't know it, what's wrong with you? But here, if you're on a Mac, you can download this app called LandScan. Got a little duck for an icon. Open up the app, just click Start LandScan, and it will sniff out and list off everything that's connected to your network. Look through the host name column, and S19s actually report back as ant miners, so it's super easy to find. On Windows, there's an app called BTC Tools. It does the same thing. I'll leave a link to those in the description below. Now, copy that IP address from the list, go over to your favorite browser window, and just paste it in the thing. You'll probably be met with a password challenge window. If you've never set the passwords for your machines, shame on you, but it'll just be both root and root for the username and password. Now you're into the back end of your S19. Look at you. But before we can change anything, we need the new firmware file from Bitmain. Do a Google search for Bitmain S19 firmware update or follow the link down below to the page with the new file. The page looks like this and make sure you click on this second pull down menu before downloading because it actually is imperative that you get the correct version of this firmware. I have S19J Pros, so select that and click download. For right now, you don't need to do anything with this file, just know where you downloaded it to so you can find it later. Go back to the browser window for your Bitcoin miner. Over here on the left, click on system and that will drop down two more options, password and firmware upgrade. Click on firmware upgrade. Click on this little arrow next to firmware file and point it to the BMU file you just downloaded. That's literally it. It's gonna take a minute to transfer that over. It's like hundred megabytes and definitely do not close this window while it's working on that. That's it. Now you have the new stock firmware installed. All of your previous settings will still be in place as far as your mining pool and your wallet information. So you don't have to do anything with that. If you wanna try the new low power mode, click over on the left over here where it says settings. Where you see mode normal, now you have the option to click on that and change it to low power. Choose that and click save. I'm gonna show you exactly how much power it's pulling in low power mode. And also it's not just that it uses less power. It ends up that the power draw drops more than the hash rate drops percentage wise. So this setting causes your machines to run more efficiently, meaning you'll be mining more bitcoins per kilowatt of power than you were before. Let's fire this thing up and see what the difference is. Also, if you like this sort of instructional thing, please subscribe to the channel. You see that hobbyist miner beat me to this subject. He's already at the top of the Google search results, that mother <laughs> Anyway, I really want to catch up to his channel and everybody else, so subscribe if you like me. Okay, so I have this S19 J Pro running on the new stock firmware. This is a 104 terahash machine and it's running on normal mode. Looks like it's hashing at 106, but actually 108 terahash at the moment. And if I clamp this handy dandy amp meter onto one of the power legs of the machine, you see that this is going at actually 12.9 amps, 13 amps, 12.9 amps. And I'm actually at 244 volts for whatever reason, that's what my power reads at. 12.9 amps times 244 volts. This machine is pulling 3,147 watts at this moment. So 3,147 watts to pull 106 terahash. Now I'm gonna set this onto low power mode and see what changes. All right, and we have a green blinking light, so we are mining, and it has landed at about 82 terahash. So Bitmain doesn't actually share with you what they're doing, but you can test things. So you can test across the bus bars. There's 12.56 volts across the bus board. We're pulling 7.8 amps. So now we're getting 82 terahash out of 7.8 amps. 7.8 times 244 is 1,903 watts. So for 1,903 watts, plus the wattage of the fan, this is probably another 50 watts on the fan, we're pulling 82 terahash. Let's run those numbers. So that's 77% of the hashing speed, but using only 61% of the power that we were using before for a better efficiency overall. I'm not doing the joules conversion because I don't know it off the top of my head. What is that per watt though? On normal mode, you get point 0.034 terahash per watt. And on low power mode, you're getting 0.043 terahash per watt. It's more efficient. I'm into low power mode. As miners, we want to strive to get the most terahashes per watt. Anyway, Bitmain's new firmware. That's how you do it. By the numbers. That's all I got. I'm, I'm done with this one.